On this Go Angling Location Guide, I'm here with Adam Rasmussen, and we just got done fishing late July, King Salmon on Lake Michigan. Uh, his boat's here stationed in Sturgeon Bay. What we want to do is we want to talk about uh, how the salmon move throughout the course of a summer fishing season, because if you want to, you know, imitate what we did today, out chasing those kings, you know, hire a charter or do it yourself, you need to have an idea of how to track these fish around because they do not stay put. Uh, for reference, uh, early in the season, say June, that's kind of when the king salmon bite starts each year on Lake Michigan. And traditionally, the fish are much further south than they are right now. I mean, typically, yeah. you'll start out finding those kings many miles south of Milwaukee. Yeah, and then as uh, the summer progresses, they start to migrate further north and stay in that cooler water. Uh, one cool thing here, though, versus any other port along the Wisconsin side, we have so much bait with the bay coming and the canal going mm -hmm. through that we always have alewives up here. So that'll tend to keep salmon here year round to some point. Right. But once that water starts warming down south and we have the cool water, those fish just migrate all the way up the western shoreline and uh, just keep working their way north until they go home to wherever they came from in the fall and go do their spawning ritual. Right, that's what you know, anglers need to keep in mind. Uh, if you hear like a really hot salmon report coming out of you know, Algoma or Milwaukee and you can't get after them for a couple of weeks, you can just about count on the fact that those fish will have migrated, moved up the shoreline. Uh, as long as you've got you know, seasonal weather. If it's a really cold spring, th things will slow down a little bit. Yeah. If it's a really calm, hot summer, it'll speed up. I mean, you'll get pushes of fish up here uh, mid-June, right? If it's a really warm summer. Yeah, this year it, uh, we're about four weeks behind on everything this year because it's been such a cold spring and things are just finally starting to warm up and kick into gear. So we're actually running a month behind. Right, so it's, it's late July now. Uh, we took the Sturgeon Channel out to Lake Michigan, hooked a louie, went out to about 160 foot of water and started fishing today. And you can tell that there's big pushes of fish coming from the south now. They're just, they're hitting this area and you're, we're out in front of that large migration, that push of fish. Uh, I would yeah. imagine that this bite's gonna stay strong now for uh, weeks or longer. Yeah, providing uh, we don't get a goofy wind to mess something up, but it should, uh, should stay pretty good and consistent now for the next four to six weeks. You know, keep these general um, king salmon migration patterns in mind. Uh, if you're going to get out and try to fish them yourself or book a charter with somebody like Adam Rasmus and these fish, you know, they start south and move north throughout the course of the summer. So uh, by late summer, you're going to be up here fishing off, you know, that western side of Door County, excuse me, eastern side of Door County, the, the peninsula, up towards what, Bailey's Harbor, um, Jackson Port, uh, all the way up to Washington Island. and further north than there yet. All right, keep these ideas in mind. Uh, if you're gonna come out and try to chase these salmon, uh, there is some method to the madness and it'll really help you narrow down your search on what is one of the largest bodies of water that you're likely to fish anywhere. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos and don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.